This circuit that you are looking at right here is an AMOLED touchscreen circuit of Android phone and you need to keep in mind that this is just one of the AMOLED touchscreen circuits of Android phones. We have two different types of AMOLED touchscreen circuits and also an LCD backlight touchscreen circuit is different from this circuit that I'm going to show you right here. So like I said, we are looking at an AMOLED touchscreen circuit which is just a block diagram that I want to present to you so that you will have a glimpse on what but the AMOLED touchscreen circuit is about like the power supplies, the, the signal lines and all that stuff. So I will explain this. This lesson is from my professional level course in which you can use the block diagram to understand schematic diagrams and use schematic diagrams to troubleshoot. So in this circuit, we have the power manager IC, we have the CPU and then we have the touchscreen connector. So the power manager IC gives the touchscreen connector to power supplies that goes to the touch screen when you connect the touch screen. So when the power manager IC supplies the touch screen with a 1.8 volt and a 3.3 volt, the touch screen will then get that voltage sent by the power manager IC. And the CPU, while the power manager IC sends this voltage, the CPU sends a reset signal through the TS and the TP line, as you can see in the CQ. This line is also available in the schematic diagram when you are using it to troubleshoot. When the CPU sends a reset signal and the touch screen is available, the touch screen is going to send an interruption signal to the CPU and that's when the CPU is going to know that the touch screen is connected and can start functioning. So when the interruption signal is sent by the touch screen to the CPU, then we have the I2C buses which is the communication line of your touch. When you are tapping your phone screen, it passes through the I2C bus and the SPI bus and you can see these, all these lines using the schematic diagrams. So using this circuit right here, you need to know that when troubleshooting an AMOLED touchscreen circuit, you need to find the 1.8 volt, you need to find the 3.3 volt, you need to check the dial reading of the I2C bus or the SPI bus depending on the mobile PCB and also you need to check the interruption line and you need to check the reset signal dial reading. So in the schematic diagram you will know if the interruption signal has a 1.8 volt which will which it will normally have in most cases when you actually switch on the phone and you also need to check uh, a 1.8 volt in the reset signal when you switch on the phone but when the phone is switched off you can check the dial reading to see if there is an open circuit between the cpu and the touch screen and that's when you can do jumper and all that stuff well if you are interested in learning all this how you can use the block diagrams to read schematic diagrams and use schematic diagrams to actually do the troubleshooting you can get my course check the link in my bio or you can check the comment section or the video description to purchase my course with a 25 percent discount so thank you and see you soon